on this on my mirror. I'm um, not gonna lie, I literally hate my outfit today. So we're not even gonna go through the outfit because I don't like it at all. I feel like I kind of look like a mom right now. <laughs> and that's not really like the vibe I'm going for. So you know what? I just gave up and I was like, I don't really care. This is not, it's not doing what I wanted it to do, so. lunch break there's literally nowhere to put my phone in this car yes i don't have a car still don't have a car more of the story is i'll never have one no i'm kidding um i don't know i feel delusional right now because i'm so fucking hungry i made myself a sandwich so we're gonna eat that as soon as i left the office to go on lunch it started downpouring and now it stopped so i don't really know what's going on i'm not gonna lie I really don't want to be here today. I'd have to be home right now. It is what it is. But last time we talked, I was trying out reading. And your girl freaking loves reading. Like, who would have thought? When I was really little, I loved books. But I'm like, as you get older, they force you to read like certain books and they all fucking suck. So I never read. Literally, every time you had to read, I'm like, the next day they would quiz you, I would just wing it. I don't know how I passed, but like I never read. Okay, hold on, I really have to pee, like really bad, and I can't enjoy my food without going pee, so BRB. Okay, we're back, we're feeling better. That was good, okay. So what I was saying is, I'm on my fourth Colleen Hoover book. I've been sharing about it on my Instagram. It's only a little over a week and I'm on book four. Like, who is she? If you want me to like talk more about books, just let me know. I'm reading Ugly Love right now. I'm about, 80 pages in so i brought my book with me because i was like you know i'll probably want to read on my lunch break and that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna read we're gonna eat and we're gonna relax before we have to freaking work got home um I needed to just take my makeup off I could not stand it being on my face I have these huge craters on my chin I don't know what that's from and I went right into PJs my room's a mess from me trying to figure out my outfit this morning but we're just not gonna deal with that right now we're gonna deal with that tomorrow look at these like how did that happen Today just felt like an eternity, to be honest with you. My buddy is just waiting for me to let him out because he hasn't eaten yet. Neither have I, so we're in the same boat. Okay, let's go downstairs. So I got a new package from Anna Luisa, so I just wanted to pop in here and show you some of the new pieces that I've got because they have become a new staple. I mean, are you shocked every single time I say it? It's true, like every time I get a new piece, I'm like, oh, yep, this is a new staple. Everything that I'm wearing is Anna Luisa. My new staple little hoops that I've been wearing. These are the mini Abbey gold earring. They're like little hoops that like hug your ears. I'm obsessed wearing them in the first hole and then the second hole, I wear these other ones that like have a dangling heart on them. I wear them to the gym, I wear them in the shower. You guys know I don't take my jewelry off in the shower really. Like ever. The quality of their pieces are just unmatched. They don't tarnish. Also, one of my new favorite pieces to stack with my cross necklace that I've been wearing is the little J initial necklace. Obviously, I got a J for my name. I could have probably gotten an A for my boyfriend. I feel like girls do that, but but I felt kind of weird getting myself it. Like I feel like your boyfriend should get that one for you. So if you're watching. <laughs> great for summertime when you're wearing like more off the shoulder tops and you need like a good necklace stack perfect for that the other new pair that i got which i actually haven't worn yet but i'm very excited to break out are the elise little earrings and i think this i could interchange with the hearts that i'm wearing on the second hole and this could be another cute dangly piece i use my link in my description um they have their mother's day sale going on right now 
Um, so if you need to get your mom a gift, which I still need to, so I need to um, hop on it. But this is like the perfect place to get jewelry for your mom. Uh, great quality, amazing prices for the quality, and I just can't talk about them enough. Thank you, Anna Lisa, for sending me these pieces. I always really appreciate it. As always, I will link the pieces I talked about in this video down below, along with my other faves, um, so you can check them out and you have like a reference of what to go off of um, if your style is similar to mine. done the gym um I got the touchland hand sanitizer I know this is nothing crazy and you're and it's expensive for no reason I actually always keep a hand sanitizer in here because of the gym I like don't like coming back to my car touching everything and like I touch my face a lot and I don't want the gym gym germs everywhere my mom texted me with the worst news ever Nah, I'm kidding. She said that we're out of coffee pods, so she's like, you might need to go get a coffee, but I'm gonna go home first because I'm pretty sure we have coffee grounds and I'm gonna figure out how to use the coffee machine with the coffee grounds. And if I can't figure that out, then I guess we'll have to go to Starbucks. This is a disaster and we're gonna have to tackle that later. This is what it looks like when I get dressed in the morning because this is what this is. These clothes here are all clean. These are my summer clothes that I need to switch out, but that is a whole task within itself. It's not 9.30 yet, so <laughs> I'm gonna read my book. Guys, I read so much of it yesterday. I like, was reading last night and I was like, okay, I need to go to bed. Stay up late. Like I literally go to bed by like 10. Like I'm in bed at 9.30, a bed 10. Ever since I've been reading, your girl has been up since like, like 11.30. And that's crazy. So yeah, last night I was reading and I was like, oh my God, how am I almost done with this book already? It kind of makes me sad. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like Every time I'm like almost done with the book, it makes me sad. So I'm like, I want like more. I want more of the story. No, but this book is freaking good. I'm outside now. I was outside for a little bit earlier, but I've had meetings like all morning. It's like 2.30, um, so that's great. My brain feels like mush. Um, never mind. I don't really feel like talking right now. I'll come back later. But it's Friday. I am on my way to Rizzo's, the Rangers game tonight. So we're gonna go to like this restaurant bar place with his friends. Um, they're usually pretty busy, but they booked a reservation or something. So hopefully, hopefully that's, you know, booked and everything. Cause you know, leaving that up to boys is, you know, you never know. But I'm on my way there. Yes, I'm in my car. We're just not gonna talk about it right now. We are good. 
we're good, we're great, we're gonna make it fine, it's gonna be great. Of course, the time I had to leave was literally during rush hour. So I'm taking some very different way that I normally take, but it's good to know like different ways. And tomorrow, this was very into golfing. Um, he's been dying to have me go golfing with him. Why is this guy doing a wheelie right now? Like he's trying to show off to all the people in traffic, like literally. He was like, come on, let's go golfing tomorrow. I was like, okay, fine. I'll just sit there and I'll read my book. No, I'll try. I'll try some. It's supposed to be cloudy, so I'm not letting myself freeze like I did at the Mets game. It's not happening. So I brought warm clothes and I also brought a t-shirt in case for some reason the weather app is lying and it's warm out. So we're prepared, hopefully. Yeah, I'll take you through my weekend. Hopefully um, I vlog some things. I don't like to shove my camera in his face or anyone else's faces, as you guys know. Besides like my girlfriends, they get the camera shoved in their faces. unpacking my shit I don't know about you but I always unpack my shit like right away okay not always but for the most part because I just like to like I don't know I just like to have everything put away basically washing everything in there that's the easy part when you unpack and like everything's dirty so you really don't have to like put anything away you just throw it in your hamper and call it a day. I think that wasn't dirty is this one pair of socks. And then a little bag of toiletries. I wasn't sure if I was gonna stay like the whole weekend, but I actually have off tomorrow. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just stay both days. I feel like we haven't been able to spend like that much time together, like proper quality time in a while. So it was very nice. So now we're back home. It's pretty early in the morning still, so I just made my coffee. I went to Target yesterday to get another book, and I only had one left of the book I wanted, and it was freaking crinkled. Like, I'm not buying a crinkled book. That was, like, really disappointing. All right, let's go. I gotta clean off my mirrors, because I got the freaking Octobuddy little circles on all the mirrors in my house now. Anyone else, when they stay at their boyfriend's house, come back with more pimples? Like, why does that happen? It's like you go one or two days without your normal skincare and your skin freaks the fuck out. I don't get it. Okay. Hi, guys. It's the next day. And today is a fucking amazing day. And you want to know why? Because, one, I don't have work. I took off today. And you want to know why I took off? Because I saw that it was going to be 85 degrees and sunny today. And I said, you know what? On a Monday, we're taking off. I'm going to be tanning all day outside. Don't even talk to me. Spending the most ideal Monday I could ever imagine. So I already have my, my bathing suit on. I already put on my face sunscreen. My face is like literally breaking out so much. I don't know. It must be something I'm using. I wonder if it's my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless filter whatever the heck it's called so i think it's like two years old at this point so it's probably breaking me out i still haven't had breakfast yet so i need to have breakfast but i don't really care like i'm not even hungry i just am like dying to go sit outside and tan so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna grab my book i was reading my book this morning and then i was like okay i need to stop because i think i only have like 20 pages left and I want to be able to read it while I'm outside. Right now, I'm reading Reminders of Him. Actually, I don't know if this is a hot take. I don't have good reads, so I don't really know people's opinions on things. But I actually don't really love it. Not really obsessed. I don't know. Like, I'm just now getting into it. And I just feel like I'm almost at the end of the book. And I'm like, okay, I like it now, kind of. So, not really loving it. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm curious if this is a hot take or if other people feel the same way. I just feel like I couldn't really like connect to the characters because the story is about like a girl went to prison 
and she had a kid. She was pregnant right before she went in prison, so she had her kid and she wasn't able to see her kid. And it's a whole story about like her wanting to meet and be with her daughter and like she meets this guy and it's a whole thing. And I just thought I can't really relate to the characters and I don't really like, it's not really making me like want to keep reading. One of the stories, I'm just trying to finish out the books and want to see what the fuck happened. Later, I'm gonna run to Target because I want to pick up Icebreaker. What was the other book I wanted to get? I wanted to get Beach Read because apparently that's a really good book. But like people are like, you have to read it during the summer. Like it's almost summer, so like, I don't know. I might just buy it and like hold off, but definitely want to buy Icebreaker. I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna go outside and get tan. This is me before. Hopefully I come back tan as fuck. I've been tanning the whole morning. Almost 2 p.m. now. I am running to Target and my mom also needs me to return something for her. So I'm gonna bang them both out. Okay, well I got the books. I got two books. Um, I actually got two books for 10 bucks. I fucking stepped in gum. Literally as I'm getting my car, I'm like, why is there stringy shit coming off of my shoe? And it's hot out, so it's all over. Like, what the fuck? I got icebreaker. They literally had one left here too, but this one was luckily in good condition. Um, and then literally as I was checking out the books, Alexa texted me and she's like, you should read this one. Um, so she told me I should read Twisted Love. So I got this one too. They're both on sale. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm gonna let you know. If you shop at Target and you know, you see a price in store, check online because sometimes it's cheaper online and they will price match to their online price. They actually do price matching, I think, to like other stores as well. With that being said, I looked online and the books are cheaper online. So I told the woman and she was like, oh yeah, no problem. Like I'll just price match them. So I got them for cheaper. And then also I had a gift card. I got both of those books for $10. And now we're on our way back home. Who would have thought I'd be buying books like this? Who would have thought? Hey guys, it is Monday morning now. Um, I hit the gym, came back, showered right away because I just have a feeling that any minute I'm gonna get you know, a message from my boss being like, hey, let's catch up this morning and then I have another meeting and I just don't wanna be sitting in my sweat. So I was like, let's just get ahead of it this morning. Made my coiffe um, in comfy, my comfy clothes because it's a gloomy day out today. So that just reaffirms how happy I am that I freaking took off yesterday and was able to just sit in the sun all day. It was perfect. I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Luckily today is gonna be a Tuesday, a Monday feeling Tuesday and no one wants to really see that, it's boring. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below. I think we're almost at 2K, I think. That's pretty crazy. I'd love to see 2K. I'd love to hit it this year. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.